Your traffic weather together with full one meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Yeah, good morning, Shay. The storm alert is extreme today, and you also have the radar pulled up behind you. So, what can we expect? I'm seeing a lot of activity on that radar map. Yeah, even uh, early this morning, we had some thunder roll through parts of Metro Tucson, so that may have woken you up, nature's alarm. But thankfully, these uh, showers and thunderstorms are rolling very quickly northward, so they're not going to last very long. But zooming in on Tucson, we have a nice little thunderstorm rolling over the Catalina still. This produced some heavy rainfall, even some really, really small hail as well earlier this this morning, but these again are racing northward. So uh, places like uh, Sabino Canyon going to dry out here really quickly, but some rumbles of thunder will be possible. So be sure to listen out for that up towards the north in Pinal County. We've had some showers race along 79 as well. So roadways will be a little bit wet this morning. There will be some lightning too. So those will be the two big impacts. But uh, like we said, storm alert is extreme today. We have isolated severe storms on top, especially for the areas highlighted in dark green. That includes Western Cochise and Graham County to the west. So that's where the severe threat will be today, but the big threat is definitely going to be flash flooding. We have a flash flood watch in effect for all of southeastern Arizona, and we have a slight risk for that, especially in western portions of Cochise County, Graham County. This also includes Tucson, all of Santa Cruz County, and really all of Pinal County as well. So that is going to be your biggest impact for today. Flash flooding will be possible for the areas highlighted in dark green, and this is really going to be likely from 3 p.m. to midnight tonight. So please always remember Remember to turn around, don't drown. These are just some flood facts to remind you that flooding causes more deaths than any other storm hazard. 63% of flash flood deaths are vehicle related. Remember, six inches can knock you off the ground and one to two feet can float your car depending on the height of your car. So just don't do it. Just turn around, don't drown. For your future cast, as we work our way towards 8 a.m. this morning, a lot of us are dry, but there could still be a few lingering showers. But the bulk of that activity is going to happen after about 1 p.m. today. By 2 p.m., we've got some very strong thunderstorms rolling through parts of Metro Tucson. As we work our way towards about 4 p.m., the bulk of the activity will be to the north and east. Some th uh, strong thunderstorms rolling through eastern Pima County, around, or I should say Cochise County, around this time by 6 p.m. And then as we work our way towards 8 o'clock tonight, it's going to get very active in Santa Cruz County, out towards the west of Tucson and potentially another round here in Tucson around 11 p.m. tonight. Early tomorrow morning we dry out and depending on how quickly we can reset, we are expecting some scattered thunderstorms for your Saturday as well. Forecast rainfall totals very impressive and this is why flash flooding is going to be an issue. We've got purple showing up. That's about an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain and that's going to happen really quickly and that's what's going to cause that flash flood threat. So please always remember to turn around, don't drown and stay storm alert today. For today's highs, really nice. We're only warming into the 80s today across southeastern Arizona, so feeling really, really good all across the board to the south and east, even low 80s for some, upper 70s potentially up in Oracle. So a nice day temperature wise, but not so much weather wise in general, just with these strong to uh, severe thunderstorms. Low 90s for your Saturday. Our chance for showers and storms drops significantly, but it's not zero. And then we'll dry things out for Labor Day and we'll start to